And how's it going, guys? It's Josh, a.k.a. Lafemi. And my name is Ricardo Ramirez, a.k.a. Richie Films. And in this tutorial, we're going to go over video editing via the mind of a musician. Happy to walk what she doing, she doing, she doing it. She just got a hair and her makeup done, I'ma ruin it. Now she calling in off of work and not influenced. And she ain't going back, nah. So I'm actually really excited what we're going to be learning today through Richie. There's just so much power in knowing how to video edit, shoot, and direct, as well as understanding the music theory that's behind the music that you're editing. I'm a professional drummer. I started playing when I was 10 years old. That's actually how I got into video, is playing drums and creating my own content. So a lot of my music videos, especially my editing, is all inspired by me being a drummer. It's like when I listen to a song, the first thing that I listen to is all the percussive elements, the drums. What are some of the different sounds in the music? that I can use that will inspire. For this music video, there's something that's called a push note in drumming. Most songs, most pop songs are in 4-4 four, four time, which is literally you're just counting one, two, three, four, and after every four beats, the song pretty much restarts. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Most people, most editors, most videographers, they usually feel all the downbeats of music, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But being a drummer, I'm forced to learn every single note that falls in between all that. I have to learn what's called the ands, the uhs, the upbeats, the downbeats. So okay. most people might hear music like, you know, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so those big downbeats like on one and three are usually what most people cut to. Like, okay. if, like if you hear a song, um, most people will cut to like the one, two, three, four, one, two, cut and cut and cut. That's when I, I see a lot of videos and I'm watching the edit and I can already predict people's edit. I already know when they're going to cut to the next scene because it's like a big downbeat. You can feel it. Me as a drummer, I hear all these things. I might hear the snare drum in the song. The snare drum is usually two and four. Okay. So the downbeats, as a, the kick drum is always on one and three most of the time. It'll be like one, two, three, four. And the snare drum, which in this kind of music is usually like a clap, you'll hear like an actual, it sounds like a clap. It'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. So that's already two different beats you can cut to. You can cut to the bass drums or you can cut to the snare, which basically is on the upbeat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or you can cut sometimes on what's called a push note. So in this song, there's a push note where it goes um, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So there's a really strong kick drum on that push note. Push note, that's in between two and three? It's um yeah, it's in between two and three and which is called the and so technically you would count it one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and sometimes there's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four so I know this is you know not everybody that's listening is a drummer but wow, that's cool though. what what I would suggest is when you get a song or even if it's just like a royalty free song you have to create a cool video listen to the track close your eyes and really listen to everything in the song and try to pick up the pieces that you think most people are not going to hear most of us are going to hear those really strong downbeats and that's what makes people predict your edit it's like i already know they're going to cut there i already know they're going to cut there but try to listen to the song and see if there's anything that can inspire a transition or a cut and what it really does is it just shuffles around your edit you know yeah. and you don't and you don't have to do the push note every time like maybe you go two or three measures where you don't cut that push note and all of a sudden when you feel it like boom like bring that push note in so it's a like, surprise it just keeps the viewer i feel a little bit more engaged because if yeah. you're always cutting on the downbeat i feel like the viewer eventually is going to pick up like okay i can feel this downbeat there's going to be a cut okay there's another cut okay there's a cut right there there's a cut right there i feel like i want to recut my whole music video <laughs> dope. let's watch it let's watch watch this all right one. let's do it so we're into verse one downbeat 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 so one two three four one two three four one two three four so here you can see that although i'm using a lot of cross dissolves i did the cross dissolve on the push note so 
one and two and three and four and one and two and and then i i cross fade right back on the one so if we watch it one more time okay. one and two and three and four and 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 so that's what's kind of inspiring this edit for this first verse. Cross dissolving on the ands. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so we're about halfway through the tutorial, and we're going to take a break for me to tell you about our channel sponsor, Envato Elements. It's basically a subscription service that gives you over 500,000 unlimited downloads from my favorite effects packs, VFX packs, title packs, transition packs, stock footage, and literally anything else you can think of. It's around $33 a month, and I'm one of only two YouTube channels that can actually get you the first month for $9. Use one of my favorite title packs from Envato Elements for this new music video that I just edited. It's coming out soon. Guys, every single subscription really helps the channel out, so please check it out in the link below. All right, let's get back to the tutorial with Richie. Yeah, so those flickers, um, I got this name. I don't know if there's a name for it, but I remember watching a tutorial a long time ago from YC Imaging. Shout out to YC. He called it the hi-hat cuts, which is perfect because when you hear... It happens a lot in like this R&B trap music. There's always these really fast like, like hi-hats. Okay. And it's a really simple trick to edit. You literally have whatever layer you want on the bottom. You add something on top that's usually gonna be the next clip that you go into. Mm -hmm. And then you go frame by frame. Mm -hmm. You try to find the hi-hats. How long is it gonna last? So if it's like, it might be, you know, it might be 10 frames. Okay. You just cut each frame and then you delete every other. Uh -huh. And it's gonna give you that kind of flicker effect. And then what I like to do is, I like to make sure that that flicker effect goes into my next clip. That's gonna be like the next uh, transition. Next transition, yeah. So it's nice. a small little transition, but going into the chorus of this video, the first chorus, uh -huh. um, I do the hi hats, and then I start cutting a little bit more aggressive to the beat. I wanted the beginning to feel really flowy, the cross dissolves. Now I wanted to get a little bit more intense. So downbeat. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four. I love it. You're really putting a lot of time. You 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 love doing something on either the ands or the upbeats, right? Yeah. And then I also you were expecting uh, like earlier probably like a crosses over a cut on that push note yeah. but i like to vary it i don't want to do it on every single one because then okay. it gets too repetitive okay because to your eye it's always like something's always changing so if, if i cut to every single push note you're gonna eventually learn it and you're gonna be like oh, okay it's not interesting anymore and sometimes i'll depending on the mood or depending on what um, what emotion I want to evoke to the viewer, I'll let the clip go longer and I'll, I'll go over that push note. I won't edit to the note Okay. just because I do want to vary it. And then also at the same time, I'm always thinking about the story. Mm. It's like, I don't let these crazy percussive cuts get in the way of the story. Like I still want to tell a story. I, there's a narrative kind of going on and I want to mm. make sure that's still clear. Okay. Um, so story first, percussive cutting second, you know, I still want to make sure that it supports the wow. video okay cool so if we can keep going three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. lingered a little bit for that story yeah. So, yeah didn't do any cuts and same thing with the hi-hat cuts i don't want them to be like super um i don't want you to be able to predict them like they're very random okay so right here is, I think, where the edit gets pretty intense. You're gonna see I start cutting to a lot of those beats. Okay. So especially this. So there was a there's something in music that's called a hit, which is usually a unison that the entire band will do. This goes like one, two, three, and four, and. So it does this kind of beat where it does like these three hits. Um, okay. The song kind of slows down and then it goes. Da, 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 Here's an edit where I actually cut on the snare. So it's on the two. Okay. So right after this. One, 
one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one so you're cutting on those down beats yep so here towards the end i just kind of started varying what i was cutting whether i was cutting on the down beat on the push note um i'm kind of starting to compile a lot of the b-roll for the ending of the video hey guys if you've liked what you've heard so far this is only 10 minutes of a one hour mini master class that you can get in the link below or oh, real quick yeah what was this shot on was this shot on a red what do you guys think it was shot on what do you guys think i'll give you guys five seconds a red a red richie maybe an ari maybe an ari maybe a c300 maybe all right this was shot all on a sony a7 III. what with just my sony glass there was no cine glass um and most of it was on the ronin s some handheld stuff um, I also had an incredible DP, Tyler REI, which is, um, so it's Tyler. I know that's the homie. He's an amazing DP and I love having him, um, on set when I'm doing stuff like this. So I could either focus on cam opping or whatever I'm doing. And he really helps me you know, bring my vision to life when, when I'm more in the director role. Um, so yeah. Dope. A7 III, baby. I think I just learned a whole year's worth of education that I wouldn't even be able to learn in school because you can't learn this kind of stuff in school. Uh, Richie is not only a videographer, but like you know, he's a musician. I think that a lot of us should know, should learn some basic music theory, even if we aren't into into playing music. Because I think I just learned so much just now. In yeah. The last Twenty minutes. Honestly, I think it helps when I really look at what might set me apart from somebody else is having that background of music because when mm -hmm. i approach my filming and when i approach my editing it's all based on the music yeah and a lot of times like to be honest i'm such a music nerd that when i hear a really bad song i'm just like i can't edit to this like this is such a this is a disgrace to music i can't i can't edit to this richie thanks so much yeah for being, thank getting, you, being on the channel um thanks so much for all you guys for watching and as always Remember, keep it chill. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the video. You can check out Envato Elements and download your favorite transition packs, effects packs, and anything else you can think of in the link below. And remember, if you want to check out the entire mini masterclass regarding how to edit like a musician, you can again get that in the link below. Thanks so much again for watching, guys. And remember to keep it chill, and we'll see you next week.